The Mouse in the House to Play by Norris Eliot is a delightful tale that unfolds within the warm and cozy walls of a charming little house. The story begins when a small, inquisitive mouse, whom we come to know as Marvin, finds his way into a house in search of adventure and a playful escape from his routine life in the meadow. The inhabitants of the house, a human family, comprised of a mother, a father, and their two children, Alice and Jack, are completely unaware of their new, tiny guest. Marvin is quickly mesmerized by the sights and sounds of the house. He explores the nooks and crannies, finding bits and bobs that sparkle his interest and engage his imagination. The family's living habits and routines provide Marvin with a schedule around which he carefully plans his escapades, ensuring he remains unseen while he indulges in his harmless pranks and playful antics. One day, the family decides to throw a birthday party for Alice, which sends the house into a flurry of activity. Marvin, ever curious and excited by the commotion, ventures out to see what all the fuss is about. He discovers colorful decorations, a table laden with delicious-looking food, and presents stacked in one corner of the room. As the festivities begin, Marvin finds it increasingly difficult to stay hidden. Enchanted by the lively atmosphere, he inches closer to the action. He watches in awe as Alice blows out her birthday candles and the guests play party games. When a game of hide-and-seek begins, Marvin can't resist joining in the fun. He darts from hiding spot to hiding spot, eluding both the children and parents with his small size and agility. Eventually, during one of the games, Marvin gets a bit too adventurous and narrowly escapes detection. This close call makes him realize that his presence could potentially cause alarm and disrupt the happy occasion. With a heavy heart, he retreats to his quiet corner behind the walls, wondering if he should leave the house for good to avoid causing any trouble for the family he's grown to admire from afar. Despite his decision to remain hidden, Marvin's escapades have not gone completely unnoticed. Jack, the younger child, has observed some peculiar movements and suspects there might be a little creature joining their games. Fueled by curiosity and a sense of wonder, Jack sets out to find the mysterious participant. Unlike the typical reactions to a mouse in the house, Jack feels a sense of kinship with the unseen playmate. One evening, as Jack lays in bed, he catches sight of Marvin venturing out for his nightly exploration. In a quiet and gentle manner, Jack extends an olive branch of friendship, offering Marvin a piece of cheese and talking softly to him. Marvin, sensing the boy's kind intentions, cautiously accepts the gesture, and over time, a unique friendship blossoms between the boy and the mouse. Jack manages to keep Marvin's existence a secret from his family, wary of how they might react. As the seasons change, bringing with them new household activities and changes in the family's routine, Marvin fully embraces his role as the unofficial and hidden member of the household. Halloween brings pumpkins and sweet treats. Christmas is a time of sparkling lights and a magnificent tree under which Marvin marvels from the shadows. And New Year's is full of resolutions and hopes for the future, which Marvin silently shares. Life for Marvin becomes a blend of thrilling escapades during family events and quiet companionship with Jack during the night. He sneaks bits of food from the pantry to sustain himself and crafts a cozy nest in his hidden corner, creating a life for himself within the walls of this house. The mouse's presence remains undetected by the family at large, thanks to Jack's discretion, and Marvin remains cautious to keep it that way. However, a turning point comes when Marvin stumbles upon a potentially dangerous situation in the house. He notices a small fire starting in the kitchen one day when the family is occupied elsewhere. Acting quickly and selflessly, Marvin makes a series of noises loud enough to attract Jack's attention. Understanding the urgency in Marvin's actions, Jack alerts his parents, and the family quickly extinguishes the fire before any serious harm can occur. Grateful for Marvin's intervention and realizing how special the mouse is to Jack, the parents agree to officially welcome Marvin as a unique member of the family, accepting his presence and the joy he has quietly brought into their home. They set up a small mouse house in a safe corner and occasionally leave treats out for Marvin, who continues to cherish his playtime within the house and his newfound status as a recognized, though still largely invisible, member of the household. 
Marvin's tale is a heartwarming narrative that emphasizes the joy of playful adventure, the power of unlikely friendships, and the unexpected ways in which even the smallest creatures can make a significant impact. It shows that a home can be shared harmoniously among all its inhabitants, regardless of their size, and that kindness, understanding, and the willingness to coexist can lead to a richer, more fulfilling life. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.